Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about the two brand new weapons that are going to be coming to Grand Theft Auto Online in the summer 2022 DLC update that were actually revealed to us the other day. So giving us a quick refresher at the info coming from Allocator, he said that there's going to be two new rifles. One is a tactical rifle, unsure about the other one. That's the code name PRC. S rifle. So those are the two new weapons that we're going to be talking about in this video today. Let's actually begin with the tactical rifle. So I think the tactical rifle is going to fall in the assault rifle category and we actually have a handful of those already in GTA Online. We have the advanced rifle, the assault rifle, the bullpup rifle, the carbine rifle, the compact rifle, heavy rifle, military rifle, and the special carbine rifle. Now, a couple of those have Mark II variants, so there's a handful more. But if we just take the base models, we only have eight assault rifles in the game, which if you compare that to some of the other categories like melee weapons or handguns, we actually don't have all that much. So this will actually be a nice addition to the game, finally getting a new assault rifle. Now, this is just my speculation. It would be nice if Rockstar sort of changed it up a little bit and didn't just make this like the same old fully automatic rifles that we already have in the game. It'd be nice if this was maybe a uh, semi-automatic or even a burst fire rifle. That would actually be pretty cool. Now, when I started thinking of what the tactical rifle could be like, one of the things that was actually pointed out is it might actually been right in front of our eyes the entire time. And it actually comes from this promotional artwork right here featuring Michael DeSanta. This rifle is not in the game. So could we be potentially looking at the tactical rifle right here? I think that's definitely a possibility. This also wouldn't be the first artwork that Rockstar has created that shows off weapons that never made its way into the final version of the game. So maybe this is something that Rockstar wanted to have for quite some time, never got around to, but found this summer 2022 DLC update the perfect time to add one of these weapons back. So I would definitely love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. What do you think is going to be the tactical rifle in Grand Theft Auto Online? And then that leads us to the PRCS rifle. Now, I definitely don't know a lot about guns and weapons, but from what I've seen so far, PRCS stands for Precision Rifle Cartridge Rifles. So Precision Rifles is essentially what we're looking at right here. And just looking at a couple of real-life examples of what PRCS rifles are, we're basically going to be looking at sniper rifles right here. And it kind of makes you wonder what kind of sniper rifle this is going to be. I know this will be very exciting to have into the game. It's been a hot minute since we've had a sniper in GTA Online. And I've got a couple of theories on what this might be. It might actually come from Grand Theft Auto 4. There's two rifles in there in particular that I think Rockstar could utilize. One of them is the Advanced Sniper from The Ballad of Gay Tony. Now, the Advanced Sniper Rifle is actually based on the German DSR-1, which is a bolt-action sniper rifle manufactured and marketed by DSR Precision GmbH. So that could be one that Rockstar ends up using. Or they could end up using the Combat Sniper from Grand Theft Auto 4. So the combat sniper in GTA 4 is based on the Heckler & Koch PSG-1. The rifle was also featured in Vice City, but last predominantly featured in Grand Theft Auto 4, which would be way easier to end up porting over to Grand Theft Auto Online. So those are some of the ideas that I think Rockstar could ultimately use. And Grand Theft Auto Online isn't full of sniper rifles either. There's only three of them, the heavy sniper, the marksman rifle, and the original sniper rifles. So this would also be a welcome addition to the game as far as weapons go. Another idea that I've seen thrown around is this might actually be the rifle that was used in single player. It's one mission in particular called Kaida Libre. It's actually where you have to shoot down a plane from the sky. And it, apparently this gun is so heavy and so lethal that it can only be used in the back of an appropriate van. In case you guys don't remember or don't know what I'm talking about, this is what happened in the mission right here. All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down.
T, if you could see this gun, it might convince you Martin Madrazo ain't someone to be messing with. The fancier the gun, the bigger the pussy who owns it. Now take down the jet. Keep looking for it. There it is. I'll pass downtown. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the jet. Second. First strike. Hey, you see it? Plane's coming down. Can you stay with it? So as cool as that would be, I don't think this would be classified as a weapon and would probably be classified as a vehicle. It's kind of like the JB700 and how that was used in single player. Now, it also makes you wonder how expensive these new rifles are going to be. And let's just go based off of the last added weapons to Grand Theft Auto Online in the contract DLC. You've got the Coil Compact EMP Launcher. This is $397,500 or $377,625 dollars with the owner's discount. So very expensive. You've got the Coil Stun Gun, which is $375,000 in Grand Theft Auto Online. That little stun gun is more expensive than some cars. And you've got the Vom Fior Heavy Rifle, which is the most expensive at $450,000. So you can only imagine that this is going to be very pricey, the tactical rifle and the new sniper rifle, the precision sniper rifle. And the reason I say that is because those are probably two highly requested weapons. I would say snipers are probably some of the most popular weapons that players use, and a new assault rifle that has some sort of special variant to it, whether it's burst or something along the lines, would be very popular. So honestly, all in all, and when it's all said and done, be prepared to spend probably over a million dollars buying and customizing and the ammo for these brand new weapons and it'll also be interesting to know if these are locked to the armory remember this is added in the contract dlc it's a room in your agency where weapons can be purchased and customized at a discounted price as well as mark ii conversions body armor parachutes it also has a weapon locker and maybe these weapons or at least one of them might be exclusive to the armory it's because Rockstar might say, hey, if you haven't gotten one of these, you really need to. It's kind of a way to get players to spend a little bit more money. That really wouldn't be shocking. So honestly, I'm excited for both of these new weapons. Of course, if we get new information on them from either Rockstar or leakers or insiders, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But let me know in those comments down below what you think they are going to be and also which one are you most excited about. Let me know what you guys think in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But, of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.